This evening, we have a uh, unusual uh, approach to interviewing fellows. We get to interview a number of them at once with their mentor. Dr. Youssef, let me begin with you. Uh, you are the individual responsible for training the fellows in Amman, Jordan. Uh, please, will you uh, tell us about this training, about the facility that you have, and uh, uh, your experience in training the fellows? Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Henry. And it's my pleasure again to meet all my friends. Actually, I will not say they call them my fellows, mm -hmm. but they are my dear friends. Uh, before telling about my service, which is the Ocular Oncology and Retroblastoma Service at King Hussein Cancer Center, I would like to, to introduce you briefly about King Hussein Cancer Center as a center in Jordan. The Ocular Oncology Service at KHCC was established in 2003, and now we have a huge team that consists of ocular oncologists, ophthalmologists, radiation oncologists, pediatric of, uh, oncologists, ocular pathologists, ocularists, and others. And King Hussein Cancer Center actually is the single cancer center, and actually it is the single center treating all cases of eye cancers in Jordan. And because we want to help people to treat retroblastoma in the countries around us, as we do in Jordan, we have established the Ocular Oncology Fellowship Pro Program in 2014. Our target from this fellowship is to train young ophthalmologists from these countries to go back home to treat patients in their countries in the same way that we do in KHCC, targeting having success in their countries in the same way that we had in Jordan. Thank you so much, uh, doctor. That, that was very informative. Um, now I'd like to hear from each of the fellows, uh, giving us a short summary of the status of uh, retinoblastoma and eye cancer in your country and what uh, you're able to do to uh, assist your patients. I'm very indebted to the ECF, the Eye Cancer Foundation, to the ICO team, to Dr. Yakub and the entire team um, at KCC. It was truly a very enriching experience. The concept of ocular oncology in Pakistan, it never existed. There was no such thing. I mean, there was nobody knew that this was a specialty and it can be taken up as a specialty. And over here, the place where I work, it's a trust hospital. It's a free of cost hospital, and we are burdened with a very vast majority of patients, especially coming from far flung areas, from rural areas. And when they present to us, they are they're presenting at very advanced stages. So before my fellowship, you know, we were just referring them here and there. We really didn't know what to do. And as far as retinoblastoma was concerned, okay, this is retinoblastoma, answer is either enucleation or palliation. So when I took the fellowship and I went to KCC, it was a whole new world. Like I opened my eyes to like a new world, really. I was not expecting. So there is an outpatient day in which we are seeing, I was exposed to patient care. I was seeing patients. I was involved in discussions. And then of course there were OR days. So, you know, I saw PLOC for the first time. I'd never seen PLOC, just written in books. When I came back, uh, the first thing I did was I called Dr. Jakob to my city. And then he was... Uh, very, very successful in actually establishing um, what ocular oncology is and establishing guidelines. From there, after that conference, now I'm getting like um, uh, consultation from two or three government hospitals. And uh, that's why now I'm double being double burdened with the number of cases that I'm getting. So from all the onco pediatric oncologists, they consult me, they refer the cases to me. So now kind of like I have kind of established oncology services here. And I have actually... Um, I am successful in actually um, getting people to know that it's a subspeciality and it just can't be, you know, it has to be dealt with professionally. You are a true pioneer. That, that's fantastic. Who's next? Um, first of all, I'm very grateful for uh, uh, Eye Cancer Foundation to allow us to get uh, this uh, fellowship. And uh, I have experienced uh, a hands-on uh, surgeries with Dr. Raqub regarding brachytherapy, uh, focal therapy, and how to manage the patient, all the treatment modalities, and uh, many, uh, many complicated cases we have uh, managed an approach of treatment for them, and i sharing the direct contact with the patients, and uh, in addition to treating them. So the main, the main obstacle in Syria 
that prevent uh, regional blastoma surfaces uh, uh, from uh, going forward is the lack of uh, medical uh, team that uh, that are well qualified with this uh, subspeciality is not uh, not available of the instruments or uh, uh, or infrastructure uh, it's only the knowledge there is no qualified knowledge in retinoblastoma uh, services there in Syria. Uh, but for myself, I'm hoping to come back to my, to, to my home country as soon as possible to, to apply these services that I have learned. Thank you very much. Um, next, uh, how about uh, Dr. Masalam? Yes, uh, I'm Dr. Mohammed Musallam. So I'm from Gaza in Palestine. I'm uh, really happy to, me, to, to have this meeting with my colleagues and my mentor, Dr. Yaqub. I did my residency program in, in the Jordan University in Amman. After I finished my program, my fellowship, I went back, I went back to Gaza uh, around one year ago, and I started my, my, um, my job in the Ministry of Health. I did uh, another fellowship uh, before I came back to Gaza in veterinary surgery. And we are trying to establish a team, a comprehensive, a comprehensive team, at least from pediatric ophthalmologist and uh, ocular plastic surgeon and veterinary surgeon, to at least to know the cases that uh, have written blastoma, so that we can go for other issues of written blastoma and deal with the family and not only the people, uh, the, not only the patient. I want to emphasize that it is not only clinical education, it is not only research, it is uh, how to deal with a patient as a human being, how to deal with his family and his parents. This is a, an important point for me. Thank you very much, doctor. Uh, can we hear from Dr. Isra Mohammed from Sudan? I am uh, uh, very much inspired by the experience in Jordan and the, and the very good outcome in retinoblastoma patients. We are uh, still facing so many obstacles, but I believe um, when you have the practice and, and you have the belief, you can make something actually. And uh, maybe one day we will have the, the, the proper protocol that is established in Jordan. And one day maybe we have the, the very good outcome I have seen there. Now we are inoculating um, like 99% of the patient's eyes. But uh, we are doing something to change all this. So uh, that's all. Well, thank you, doctor, very, very much. And I also want to say to those who will be watching this that, as you heard, the key to the success of this is your donations. Uh, we ask you to be generous. We ask you to help us continue this work and continue to bring new fellows on board. Uh, doctors, do you have anything else to say? I would like to thank you, Mr. Henry. And definitely I thank Dr. Finger, my mentor, my boss. Um, Telling you something, I was Eye Cancer Foundation fellow and ICO fellow with Dr. Paul Finger in 2011. Wow. Which is the And you became the fellows. And in the future, you will be the mentors for more and more fellows. And by that, the knowledge will uh, distribute all over the world. 